Good evening and welcome back to Jam On's Gone Fishing Weekend. This is Kevin Shapiro coming to you from the Fish Archives with From the Archives number 16 on Sirius XM Jam On channel 29. This is part two of a two-part From the Archives. Part one of From the Archives number 16 will be rebroadcast later this weekend on Jam On. This is a special pre-show designed to get you primed and ready for the live broadcast of Fish, July 7th, 2012 at Saratoga Performing Arts Center in Saratoga, New York. This is night two of a three-night run, and as far as I know, it is the first three-night run by any band at Saratoga Performing Arts Center. But whether you're in the lots at the show, or tuning in from home or your car, we're all sharing in the groove together on From the Archives. Stay tuned for the exclusive Sirius XM broadcast of Fish, live at SPAC in just about two hours. Before we dive into the music, I want to thank the band, John, Trey, Mike, and Paige, and the finest crew in the business for everything they do and for making all this possible. With that, let's go deep with the first selection from a show about 18 years ago at SPAC. Enjoy.
Such a hot mid-94 Mike's Groove. We've been listening to Fish, July 10th, 1994 at Saratoga Performing Arts Center. That was Mike's song with a little bit of low rider into I Am Hydrogen into Weekapaw Groove from the middle of set two at the very venue where Fish will take the stage momentarily. From the band's first headline performance at Saratoga Performing Arts Center. They were here one time before in July 1992, opening for the great Santana. This is Kevin Shapiro with From the Archives number 16, part two, a special pre-show leading up to the exclusive Sirius XM broadcast of Fish live at SPAC. The band should be on stage in just about 90 minutes. In the meantime, I'll explain a little about what you're hearing. Starting in 1996, the band pioneered the multi-day single band festival at the Clifford Ball, not too far from here in Plattsburgh, New York. This was before texting and Twitter and even widespread cell phones. So an on-site radio station was set up to spread important news to people attending the shows. I was asked to pull some gems from the archives to entertain our listeners on Ball Radio, where the slogan was Ball All the Time. The rest is history, and we've done this now 15 more times at fish festivals, and later Bonnaroo and Live Fish Radio, and now here on Jam On. We've come a long way since then, but our intent is still all for your delight. That leads us to the next segment, which I'd like to dedicate to my wife, who's listening somewhere near Buffalo. Enjoy.
It's a hot and funky night here on Jam On. Yeah, you're right. We just heard the set two opener, a turbocharged Boogie On Reggae Woman from September 18th, 1999 at Coors Amphitheater in Chula Vista, California. This is pretty much the version by which all others are judged, but you need look no further than this summer tour opener in Worcester for some recent experimentation with this classic Stevie Wonder song. Carini into Taste, into Ghost, into Boogie On, and If I Could was only a few weeks ago, but it's more than worth a listen in context of the amazing summer tour we've been enjoying. This is Kevin Shapiro from the Archives, number 16, part 2, a special pre-show for your listening and dancing pleasure while anticipation builds for tonight's show. We're counting down to showtime with the band expected on stage in just over an hour. We all get to experience it together on the Sirius XM broadcast of Fish live at SPAC. The live broadcast should start just about 8 o'clock. If you're at the show, make sure to drink plenty of water, stay hydrated, keep it cool out there. If you're listening somewhere else, anywhere else, make sure to keep your dial tuned to jam on for the main event. In the meantime, let's head to Pittsburgh for this next selection right here on Jam On.
subduing the trauma, engulfing my dream. And if you want, boys, you know you got it seen. The tone of helplessness swept me away.
It's called Flat Fee, and that's a song that uh, was written about six years ago and has been waiting for the horn players. And here they are. This is Kevin Shapiro on From the Archives, part two of this weekend's edition of A Very Special Gone Fishing. This is a pre-show helping us pass the time until the band hits the stage in Saratoga Springs, New York. This is the last show of a memorable first leg of summer tour 2012. Those of you in the West, in the South, in the Midwest, and in the mountains have a real treat headed your way in just over a month. And speaking of treats, we just rocked out to Fish Maze from October 18, 1996, set two at the Civic Arena in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. That was followed by a little jazz in the form of Flat Fee, a great Trey song that dates all the way back to 1987. 
The version we just heard is from July 20th, 1991, set to night two of a two-night stand at Arrowhead Ranch in Parksville, New York. The horns accompanying the band were the giant country horns they played on that whole summer tour. They are Dave The Truth Grippo, Russell Remington, and Carl Gears Gerhard. That performance is so killing that I repeated it from Live Bait Volume 5, just so we could hear it together. Stay tuned, the band should be out in just over 50 minutes, and you'll hear it all right here on the exclusive broadcast of Fish, live at SPAC, on Jam On. of sweat that glistened on his brow. His tired feet were buried in the quagmire. And his bloodshot eyes saw all that lay between him and fulfillment of his vow. And he felt his fingers wrap around the knotted root and pull his body upwards to a sea green mossy boulder and he dragged his weary shit ass up the mountain and he climbed so slowly he climbed so slowly Crack of thunder, and the rocks began to crumble overhead. And tumble down the mountain to a dismal swamp that lay beneath the jagged cliffs through which his path had led. And the earth began to quake beneath his feet. And a mighty mountain changed before his eyes. And he stood amidst a sea of dust and rocks and stones cascading down the mountain. And a thousand birds were headed for the sky. Whoa! The sacred creed will be yours. If you wait till tomorrow, the sacred creed will be yours to devour. Dust had cleared, the colonel lifted up his head and was driven to his knees by a blazing beam of light. And he saw the silhouette that stood before him. And he bowed in reverence, trembling in the shadow of the mighty legend's form. Iculus. The prophet stood before his eyes, looking down on Colonel Forbin, where he shuddered in the puddles and the mud. And he quietly addressed him, and he spoke so slowly, he spoke so slowly, he said, Why you come here and I'll help you with your 
quest to gain the knowledge of this They like I call upon my faithful friend the Mockingbird To fly and seize the helping book and bring it to your shack And the tree of knowledge in your soul will grow And the helping friendly book will plant a seed But I warn you that our non-deceiving innocent and pure Becomes a deadly weapon in the hands of avarice and greed Until tomorrow, the sacred greed will be yours to devour, yours to seize and to obey. Obey. Before we take off here where we're going, I'm just going to tell you a little, little thing about uh, one of the best things about traveling around in a, in a band and everything and traveling all over the country and playing is that we get to go uh, to all the best roller coasters all over the place and it's become sort of a pastime. So Fish over there carries around this book that he's got. It's sort of a roller coaster bible and it describes every roller coaster in the country. And so far we've gotten to go to about five or six of the best ones and today we got to go on this one. But uh, what I just want to say is I want to thank you guys all for waiting so patiently in line here. I'm sure that this is the, uh, the biggest line that, um, that this uh, particular park has ever seen. But it's, believe me, it's worth it because uh, you're all about to ride on the roller coaster of the mind. <laughs> so no pushing, no pushing. You have to be uh, this tall to get on this roller coaster. Everybody just keep pushing in. Okay, we're going to start loading in now. Everybody can fit onto this roller coaster. So you just kind of stand there and picture in your mind now here. We're all going to get it onto this long, long car. Everybody's climbing in, climbing in, and you strap on your, you know, headband for your mind and your thing, and we're all sitting down, and now we're all sitting in the thing. And as we sit there, we feel the thing start to click into gear. And we're rolling up now, we're pulling up, and you can see this is steeper than most any other roller coaster. And as we're going up, it's getting really steep. It's really steep, and you're hanging back against your chair there, going up. And you can, as you go up, you can look down around you, and you see right down here, right there, and you see the stage down below you, and all the other people who, sort of the shells of your body, staying there, because this is just a mind roller coaster. You've you got to leave your body behind. And you look down, and you see the... Uh, the stage over here in the field and the, the little teeny roller coaster over there and everything we're getting higher and higher sort of these red, red tracks going up and everybody on this roller coaster is in the front car so you just imagine you're in the front car there's nothing but front cars in this roller coaster two on a side we're all sitting there on this thing and going up higher and higher and now we're starting to get so high there's it's going into a cloud bank and you can't see anything anymore we go into a cloud bank and now you're just kind of surrounded by white and you're still going up and still going up and now we kind of burst out of the cloud and we look down and we're so high now that we can't even see the earth below us anymore and it's really starting to get kind of queasy looking down because this clouds and the air is starting to get thin. We're so high we can't even breathe anymore. And finally we start to go up and we kind of crest over that first hill and as we crest over we look down and something starts to feel strange. And we realize that as we've been riding up the car itself has started to disappear and our feet are actually latched to the two bars and we've just got kind of wheels on our two feet and we're standing up now going up the top starting to crest over the top of the hill starting to crest over the top and then going down Whoa! Off into space, the track ends. 
floating through space now. Heart's still beating fast. <sighs> oh my god. Floating through space. Drifting. Starting to go through a little loop. A little barrel roll. Drifting around. We went so fast that we just pushed through this barrier. Couldn't kick it. And we look around us and we just see black now. Black everywhere. All the other people have disappeared. <sighs> We're okay. And as we float through space, we see in the distance a tiny green speck. And the green speck is going around in front of our eyes. And the green speck starts to come closer. And the green speck gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until our whole field of vision is covered with nothing but like a sea of green. And we see the sea of green. And we realize that it's grass from a field. And we realize that there's a forest over in the distance, and a mountain coming out. And we realize that we've ridden the roller coaster to Game Henge. There's no coming back. You don't have to wait in line at Game Henge. You can just get on anytime. And we're there. We look over and we see on the mountain Colonel Foreman climbing up the mountain, this little man climbing up the mountain, and he's climbing up the mountain, and the rocks are tumbling down below him and crumbling. As we look at him, we realize he's trying to find the great and knowledgeable Iculus, who I was singing about in the last song. And he's trying to get the great and knowledgeable Iculus to call on the famous mockingbird, who's going to fly out of the sky, talk to Iculus, and then he's going to fly to the castle of the evil King Wilson, and uh, get the book. He's gonna bring the book back to all the people of Game Henge and they're gonna live in peace and harmony with nature, all because we've got on the roller coaster of the mind. So here he comes now, the famous mockingbird, flying through the air, going to the castle, getting the book, bringing it back to the people.
Welcome to the roller coaster of the mind. That was Fish, Colonel Forbin's ascent into Fly Famous Mockingbird from set one of August 7th, 1993 at Darien Lake Performing Arts Center, a short drive by Fish Tour Standards from Saratoga. Well, the venue has changed a lot since I first saw it on that epic summer 93 tour, but we're still going strong as we round the bend into late 2012. This is Kevin Shapiro on From the Archives, and you can feel the excitement as we bump up against the half hour mark before the show starts. This is part two of From the Archives, number 16, a special pre-show leading up to the exclusive Sirius XM broadcast of Fish live at SPAC on Jam On. This next piece is, some would say, the band's magnum opus. This particular version was recorded right here in Saratoga Springs. It's kind of a long one, so as we count down to 8 p.m. Eastern, Keep it tuned to From the Archives right here on Jam On. Enjoy.
that doesn't get you prepared to receive transmission, perhaps nothing will. We've been listening to Fish, You Enjoy Myself, from June 26, 1995, during the band's second headline gig at Saratoga Performing Arts Center. Since then, they have played SPAC a half dozen times in 2004, 2009, 2010, and yesterday. And before we know it, they'll be on today. This is Kevin Shapiro from the Archives, number 16, part 2, a special pre-show to get us all psyched for tonight's exclusive Sirius XM broadcast of Fish live at SPAC. We're less than 15 minutes away from the time the band is expected to take the stage here in Saratoga, and we're just passing the time together here on From the Archives. If you're just tuning in, we plan to go straight up to showtime with this broadcast. If you're at the show, be sure to visit the water wheel table to say hi and happy 15th anniversary to Maddie and his volunteers. The Water Wheel Foundation is the band's charitable organization and has been dedicated to cleaning up the Lake Champlain Basin and other North Country and local causes since 1997. This next piece features Paige singing a fairly rare Trey song that hasn't been played since the season it was first performed 23 years ago. Stay tuned for Fish live at SPAC in just minutes right here on Jam On. Tower. I was on my home on a misty night, dreaming of dinner and a shower. I chilled in the air, there wasn't a soul inside. When I sat on the stick, I started to slip, and I fell in a hole. One thing that that hole was never ending, and further I fell into the silent black. I'm picking up speed, my body bending. I was starting to think that I would never come back When the air became thick, the air became cold And everything
Thank you. It's kind of a jazzy evening here at Jam On. I hope you can feel it as we swing our way into the final countdown at Saratoga Performing Arts Center. This is Kevin Shapiro from the Archives, number 16, part two, on Jam On, and we've been soaking up some vintage fish in the form of In a Hole from December 9th, 1989, at Castleton State College in Castleton, Vermont. That one goes out to the Rutland crew who taped the show and are hopefully in their seats right now getting ready for the band to take the stage at SPAC. I have one more selection, but before we jump into it, I want to once again thank the band, the crew and management, Ari, the general, and the entire Sirius XM team for making this broadcast possible, and most importantly, all of you for listening and participating in person and online and over the airwaves. In my view, fish is a team sport, and none of it would happen without you, so thanks. If you're just tuning in, this is a special SPAC weekend and a very special from the archives leading up to the exclusive Sirius XM broadcast of Fish live at SPAC. We expect the band on stage any minute and we'll cut to them live whenever that happens. Until then, here's one last selection from the archives, The Millennium Bug, right here on Jam On.
This is Kevin Shapiro from the archives on Jam On, and if you're hearing me now, we are so near to showtime that you can taste it. Jumping a decade forward from the last cut, we just heard Fish, Bug, from December 31st, 1999, at Big Cypress Seminole Indian Reservation in the heart of the Florida Everglades. The Millennium Bug, as I like to call it, took place in the final minutes of Fish's longest set ever, the midnight to sunrise celebration that surely drew Dionysus near in a festival to end all festivals. Fish will be taking the stage any minute now, and we will cut to the exclusive Sirius XM broadcast of Fish live at SPAC when they do. As always, it has been my honor and my privilege to share these last couple hours and days with you all. Until next time, have a great show, take care of each other, and enjoy tonight's broadcast and the rest of the summer tour. Thanks for listening. You'll hear the headphones jam from February 2004 until the band hits the stage. Fish, live at SPAC, is next, right here on Sirius XM Jam On.